Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Got a beautiful song for you guys today. We're gonna to learn how to play All I Have to Do is Dream by the Everly Brothers. Um, so we basically have two chord progressions and we're all set here. Um, but some good chord work, especially if you have any trouble with bar chords or anything, it's a great exercise here. So we're in standard tuning here. I'm gonna start you out with that opening chord, just an E major chord. All right, so the main chord progression is just what I played. You kind of hear those four chords repeated a lot here. It's the verse and the chorus. So we're going to start with just a E major. Then we go up to our first bar chord. Now, this is a C sharp minor chord. But we're going to have a G sharp in the bass. All right, so that's going to require a bar, full bar of the fourth fret, and you're going to be playing the fifth fret on the B string, sixth fret on the G, and sixth fret on the D. So like this. Down to an A major, into a B dominant seventh chord. All right, so that's second fret on the A, first fret on the D, second fret on the G open B string, and the second fret on the high E. So you're going to repeat those. The rhythm is just the standard down, up, down, up, eighth note feel. See how I'm accenting some of the downstrokes? So it goes, that's the verse and the chorus, and there's a turnaround right at the end of the chorus, which sounds like this. All right, so that's going from that E major, just keeping the same rhythm still, E major to A major, back to E. After you've done that a couple times, you're gonna change that to an E dominant seven chord. So that's going to happen by lifting up your third finger to make that D string open and then reaching over and grab the third fret on the B string. So like this. All right, from there we have the bridge section, which happens a couple times in the song. Great chord work here. So let me play through it real quick for you. again. All right, so that's going to start here with an A major chord over to a G sharp minor chord. So that's a full bar now at the fourth fret and you're going to have sixth fret on the A, sixth on the D. Now you're going to come down here and you can play this chord a couple different ways. Um, it's an A major chord with F sharp So really what you, you can look at this if you want as just an F sharp minor seven chord. Um, in any case, it's gonna be the low second fret there in the low E string. And then you're gonna hold those notes of that A major chord, just second fret on the D, G, and B string. So I like to just play my thumb here on the low note and then bar those uh, top notes, or you can just play them any way you want to play an A major. And then from there, 
to that B7, back to the E. So we have this. So it's just F sharp uh, minor seven chord there. Now we have a little melody line. That's just the open B string. I'm just kind of making a not really um, probably played by the rhythm guitar part, but I'm just kind of trying to do it in an area that we can get back to the chorus quickly. So it's an open B and the open high E together a couple times. Then just a second fret on the high E with the open B string and the fourth fret on the high E with the open B. Let's start back over with the A. Now we're back to that G sharp minor. Now this time, we're gonna go down to an F sharp major bar chord. All right, so that's just the same as this up here. Move down two frets and then put the third fret, I'll play the third fret there on the G along with those other fingers. So it's an F sharp major chord. And then what we're gonna do is have this little, which takes us back to the beginning of the verse again. So we basically have, now that's a, basically, let me just show you the chords. B major, same chord you're just playing here, the second fret, move it to seventh, then fifth, then that G sharp minor. And then we're actually gonna go into a F sharp minor chord. So don't have the third fret there. So we have this. We're basically gonna play this. You're gonna play this B major, pick the low note, and then hit the top three strings with an upstroke. And do that on all four of those chords, and you're back to the verse, which is four laid back. All right, so it's a great tune, got some great chord progressions in it, and uh, makes you kind of move around all over the place and play a lot of bar chords. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.